extravaganza of pink, pinky pink Wednesday, beautiful monster ball, monster high, Draculaura. Oh my goodness, y'all. I cannot believe that I have her, that she's here, that she's mine, and she's so pink alicious and just awesome. So we're not gonna do a lot of talking. We're gonna get into this Draculaura. Here is her box. It has the gold Monster High over here, which I love, love, love. And it has the gold Monster Ball down here, which I also love, love, love. Definitely gonna be keeping those two things. Now, I said a little bit about it in my haul video, but a lot of people don't care for this, how they did like the ball, like the disco ball in the packaging and stuff. I don't mind it. And especially since I'm gonna debox her, it makes no difference to me, but I guess I can see where they're saying it obscures the doll. So I can see her enough and I love her. Also here, on the box or in the box is this beautiful Darko art. Love, love, love it. Definitely keeping that and her little picture there. Then around to the back with more exquisite Darko art here. Look at her. Like that is awesome. These are definitely going to get framed or something or something special done with them. All these beautiful new box art things. I'm trying to figure out a way. I save all the ones that I like, which is most of them, to be honest. And I have them in like a little bag where I keep everything like that. And I just cannot wait to get my dolly room together one day and have it all how I want it. But loving the art. It says all this little stuff here. If you want to pause and read it, here is her barcode. If you want to try and look her up and find her in your area, which I hope you can and I hope you do. And then we are back to the front with this beauty. So without a lot more talking, y'all know the drill. Got my handy dandy scissors here and we're just gonna bust this beauty out of her box jail. So next time you see her, she'll be out of this box. All right, y'all, we're back and she is deboxed and oh my goodness. Okay, I am so super excited. We're gonna get through this, but y'all are gonna have to deal with my uber excitement for this beautiful girl. First thing I'm gonna do, show you the cute little picture here, just so that I can tack it up in the background. Mine is a little bent, you know, from being in packaging, but I think that if I set it inside of a book, you know, for a little bit, it'll flatten it out. So there's this adorable pic. All right, next is this, and it's so uber tiny, but look at her lipstick y'all it has the little hole where she can hold it and it opens what like i can't with these accessories this is so stinking cute i love that it has a cap it is so small y'all look at this it's like the size of my thumbnail what love this love this love this and then can you stand this tray Look at this, so adorable. It is a little pixelated this close up, but I'm way into my camera so y'all can pick up the details. This is so cute. I love that the leaves are bat wings. That is so stinking cute. I love that they're chocolate dipped strawberries. That's so cute. And I love that the tray is black, it even has detail. Can y'all see that? Like, oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I start getting into the bigger accessories, y'all. This is so cool. All right, we are gonna get into these beautiful flowers. <gasps> Oh my goodness, y'all, look at all the detail on this. Now I know when I did the haul video, I said to y'all that I might wanna paint these, but then I thought, no, I shouldn't. I don't know, like they're so pretty, but they're hard to see all this beautiful detail. There's so much detail. And then the bow and the brighter pink and then the like wrapping, look at this. This is so pretty and so pinky pink, pinky pinky pinkness. I'm in love with all this pink, y'all. Love this, but it is really, really heavy, and I don't know how in the world she would hold this. Like, it's heavy, y'all. Real, real heavy, real thick, real solid piece. Very nice, but like I said, don't know how I would get her to hold it. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll construct some kind of thing. I don't know, but love this piece. This is so detailed and wonderful. Now, the accessory piece that's probably my favorite is this <gasps> chocolate fountain. Look at all this detail in this pink bottom of this beautiful little fountain. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And the skelet at the top, oh my goodness, y'all. This is killing me in all the best ways. It is so stinking cute, so awesome. Look at the drips all the way around. Like, just look at that. This is so detailed. Now, I know this doll wasn't cheap per se. You know, she was $29.99. For all the stuff you get, I mean, I haven't got into her yet, but just so far, I'm saying yay. <laughs> 
Honestly, absolutely love this. And the only thing, like I might paint the bow like with a little pink, but I just love how chocolatey it looks. So I might leave it alone. I don't know. Ideas, things I'm thinking on and sharing with y'all. All right, drum roll. Brrr, we are gonna get into this beautiful Draculaura. Ah, look at her. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. I had to get up really, really close because I wanted to see if her face looked pixelated and it really doesn't. Her face is so cute. I didn't get to choose. If I didn't say, these were just sent to me. I got them on Target's website and so I didn't get to like go through the faces and choose, but I got a good face. I got super duper lucky and I just had to zoom in on that first just because, just because, like look at it. Like, can you even stand it? Her little beauty mark with the heart and all the pink, pinky, pink, pinky, pink. Absolutely love it. Now I gotta fix her bangs back. <laughs> all right, about the hair. Figured we'd go into that next because I got so into her face. I am not sure about what fiber it is. Some of y'all can tell by the touch exactly what it is. Like I know what fibers that I know how to fix by touching them, like and what to do to them. It feels nice but not so soft like some of the rainbow highs and whatnot. Now I know she has tinsel in this part, so that's what's making this part coarse. And this is how it looked out of the box. It's a pretty bad case of box hair, as you can see. It's all bumpy and lumpy and funny, but I will be fixing that eventually, fix fixing it. But for videoing purposes, I am going to pause here and brush it and then come back to y'all. All right, y'all, we are back. <gasps> The hair looks a hundred times better now that I brushed it. It still has box hair, it still has lumpy bumpies, but it is really nice. I didn't really lose any, maybe one or two strands, and there were a few little strands hanging. I trimmed those already because it was just so minimal. I didn't feel the need to like show you because it wasn't a big deal. It was just, you know, what we're used to with any doll line. And I fanned out her bangs and fixed those so they look so cute, so much better. I'm so excited for this girl. She is so pink and so pretty, and I I just love her. Before I go on forever about how cute and pink she is, we're gonna get down into some of her details. Now this purse is so stinking cute. Look at all the detailing, kind of similar to what was on the little chocolate fountain, the patterning. I did try, it does open. It has the hinge at the bottom, it does open, but I couldn't get it apart and I didn't wanna bust up my nails or hurt this trying to use some kind of like pool to yank it open, but just know that it does open and it is so stinking cute. Like just look at this at the top here. It has a little like bat closure, like what? So adorbs, so, so love it so much. And since we're up close, let's look at her cute little bracelet, y'all. Now it is plain. It does only have the one color, but it's kind of got that see-through, so you get like more tones because it's see-through, so I really do like it. I'm not mad at the fact that it's not like overly painted. Since we did her one bracelet, let's do the other one. Look at this, y'all. The detailing on this stuff is so just blowing my mind right now. Like, I love it. Being the way that I am, I kind of want to paint it, but at the same time, I kind of don't because I love that it's all flat black and it goes with her pink and black theme. Super duper cute. Yeah, you have to take the hand off. I just wanted to see if it had the little clippy. You have to take the hand off to get this off, but you know, that's no big deal. And since we're doing accessories, let's talk about her earrings, y'all. Look at these earrings again with all the detailing. Now these, I might be tempted to like hit it with some dry brushing with like a pink tone so that we can see all this lovely detail. Can you stand it? Look at her ears. Ah, I love her ears. They're so cute. I love how pronounced they are. I love that with this girl, you can see the ears. When I did the other one, oh, which one was it? Oh, I think it was Skultimate Secrets, like the way they had her hair. You couldn't see the ears. I love the ears. So I love that this one is out. They are so stinking cute. I can't with this doll. I'm just so in love. She's so pinky pink. Let's look at her necklace piece, y'all. Look at this. Again, it's like a smoky gray color and it has so much detail. It has like the hearts, webbing and all that cool stuff and another heart down at the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see all the detailing because it is one flat color, but it's just so stinking cute. I love, love, love these accessories, y'all. Now let's look at the bow in her hair. I mean, come on, y'all, with all this detailing. Like I said, I might be tempted 
to dry brush a little, like maybe a lighter shade of gray, just to hit these details so they can be seen better. But I just love all the detailing on this. Like I really do. I have nothing bad to say. I'm almost at a loss for words at how wonderful this doll is, y'all, for real. All right, we're gonna get into her shoe, 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 shoes. Look at these. They are so cute and so pink. And oh my goodness, yes. Got close enough for y'all to see all this luscious detailing. Look at this. <gasps> Oi, just, I can't, y'all. I can't even look at all the detailing. It's so cool. Nothing really on the bottom, which a lot of the time they have stuff on the bottom, but I'm not mad at it. I love these shoes, even though they're pretty much just a one color minus the black heart. Absolutely love these shoes. They are so stinking cute. And again, I know I've said it with like almost everything. I'm tempted to do the dry brushing just to bring out some of these details, you know, because she's mine. And you know, every collector likes their things differently. Like I'm tempted to leave her, but I'm also tempted to like judge her up at the same time. I think what I will probably do is once they go on sale or are more readily available, I might get a second one and do all the judging that I want to and leave one like factory. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, y'all, let's talk about these sparkly tights. Look at the tights. <gasps> Oh, I love the sparkle in these and they're so pinky pink lusciousness. Ah! I love this doll so, so much. I can't even. And since we're doing that all up close with the tights here, this is her articulation at the knee with her cute little pink chubby legs that I love, love, love. I guess since we're doing articulation, she has the 360 at the shoulder, the elbow bend that we're used to, and the wrist bend, and the 360 at the wrist, which I don't think I have been saying to y'all. She does have the upper body joint, which I love. I love it, I love it, I love it. She has the up, down, side, side, all around 360 at her head. Oh, just look at her, y'all. I can't, so pink and so pretty and so like, oh. Usually I wait for them to go on sale, but I am definitely not mad that I've paid full price for this beautiful girl. All right, let's talk about the ensemble here, the dress. Now this is so detailed. I love this. I think they used this in one of her other accessories, but only as like a minor fabric maybe. It's familiar to my Dolly Collector brain is all I'm saying. I don't know if they, you know, reused it. I don't care. I think it is gorgeous. It feels a little, not cheapy, but like different. It doesn't feel necessarily like fabric. It feels kind of metal-y or something, if that makes any sense. And she has so many cute layers. There's this little ruffly layer, which is a full layer, not cheated. And then this layer of this fabric here, whatever this fabric is, and then another full layer from there to there of the lace, and then another layer at the top of this pretty fabric accentuated by a pinky pink little belt line there. And then at the top here on the neckline it has a different kind of ruffling, and I think, yeah, I think it's the same material as what her tights are made of. That's what it looks like. So stinking cute, love that detail. And then around to the back, look at the bow. Look at this luscious bow. Now it's, you know, kind of mangled from being in the box and wrinkly and crinkly, but once that's all figured out, you know, once I fix it how I do, it's gonna be so awesome. Not that it's not awesome now, it's just wrinkly. It is attached. I wasn't sure if it was separate or not. And the dress is all one piece with the small dainty Velcro that we're used to in the back here. Loving, loving, loving that. And she has little ribbon straps in the black there on the top of the dress. This girl is so stinking adorable. I can't get over it. Now I didn't show up close her little fan of a palm that they have the little bow around. That is super cute. And mine is actually pretty nice, not messed up or anything. So I'm glad for that. <sighs> Deep breaths, deep breaths. This pink loveliness of Draculaura Monsters Ball. I love her. I'm so in love with her and I can't even with y'all. Like you have no idea how much I'm trying to like just contain myself for all the beautifulness. The only thing that I would say that is a negative at all is the hair just a little because you know it has the tinsel in it. Not everybody loves that. I don't mind it. I don't love how coarse it feels, but you know, 
I'm okay with it. Wasn't expecting to like her as much as I do because I'd seen her in the pictures and I thought she was pretty and I thought, well, I have all the other Draculauras. I don't really need her. And here she is in my collection, but I'm super happy for it. She's so exquisite. Love, love, love her. And every pinky pink, pinkaholic part of me is super happy right now. So yay. So y'all, if you have been with me this long and made it to this point in the video, I have to say thank you, thank you so much for indulging my pinkaholic heart and being with me and for watching y'all. So for me, as a Dolly collector and Pinkaholic and Draculaura lover, this girl, like, she gets as close to a 10 as I can give. Very, very little, like I said, little things with the hair, but mostly she's perfect to me. I don't know about you, but to me, I'm so in love with this pinky pink, beautiful Draculaura so, so much. Definite thumbs up by. Didn't have anything bad to say about anything. All the quality of the fabrics felt nice. The accessories, oh, my goodness awesomeness the cheapest if you want to say cheapest out of all the things is the purse because of the thin way that it's made and i can tell that the hinge is not so nice but other than that you know these are very little nitpicky details and i am picky sometimes so just know for me to want to give her a 10 that she's pretty awesome if you want to grab her, I would say check Target's website because she pops in and out. I know Dracula is really popular, so try your luck. I hope you can score one like I did because I'm so super happy with her pinky pinkness. So that's all of my gushing, and I have to say once again, thank you, thank you so, so much for being with me and for watching, y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe, having a great, 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 great Dolly day. And that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I honestly, truly hope they will. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 pinky pink Wednesday, Draculaura, pinkaholic, subscriber love. To all you wonderful, lovely subscribers, I cannot, cannot say enough how wonderful, how sweet, how kind, how lovely you all are and how much I thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming along this journey, expanding our Great Big Dolly Barbie YouTube family to the size that it is today and just making this Dolly Collector space that we have created so lovely. Thank you, thank you so, so much, y'all. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Pinkaholics unite in the love of pink. Come here, join us. No matter what you're into, you're welcome here. I always say that and I want you to know that I mean it. So if you're into crazy, dolly, fun and loveliness, come here and join us. I do tutorials, I do hauls, I do do boxings, I do vlogs, shorts, anything you can think of. Dolly sewing, we're gonna try it right here. So come along and join us. See what dolly loveliness, silliness and craziness we get up to because we would love to have you. And absolutely everyone, no matter what you're into, is always welcome. Welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this Pinky Pink Wednesday. Draculaura Monster High Monster Ball deboxing. So y'all know what I'm gonna say. Happy Dolly Day and bye, y'all.